Alright, so first of all, go ahead and click on the link in the description that will open up this PDF right here, which contains all the files we will be needing during today's transformation. So go ahead and click on the first link that says Taskbar XI. And then once this GitHub page is opened up, just click on Releases. And over here, just click on Taskbar XI.exe. Also, make sure you download the second file that says Taskbar XI MFCGUI.exe. And once you've downloaded both of them, just open up File Explorer. Then open up the Downloads folder. And then just select both of these files that we just downloaded. Right click and click on Cut. Open up this PC and then your local disk or C drive. And then over here, just go ahead and create a new folder with the name Tweaks. And just open it up. And just right click and just click on Paste. And just go ahead and run the file that says Taskbar XI. Over here, just click on Run. And then run the second file that says Taskbar XI MFCGUI. Click on Run over here once again. And here, as you can see, we have this Taskbar XI configurator, right? just like the one that we have in Windows 10 of Taskbar X. And here, we have the option to select square corners, corner radius, and all the other options. You can adjust them however you want it to be. I'm just going to check this box right here. I'm going to check this one as well. I'm going to check these three boxes right here. And I'm just click on apply. So now as you can see, our system tray has disappeared. Make sure you have this box checked right here so that this application automatically runs whenever you start up Windows. Now let me just close this down. Let's go back to the PDF once again and just click on the link that says rain meter. And over here, go ahead and click on the download button. Then once it's done downloading, just open it up. Over here, click on run. Select your language and click on OK. Over here, select standard installation and click on next. Install. In the user account control one, just click on yes. And then just click on finish. And on my desktop here, as you can see, we have these four skins right here. Just right click on them and just click on unload skin for each of them. Go back to the PDF once again. And then go ahead and click on the link that says drop top four. And over here, just scroll down until you find releases. And over here, just click on click here to download drop top. Now open up File Explorer once again and then open up the Downloads folder and just go ahead and run the drop top basic version installer. And over here just click on install. And once this window is opened up just click on continue and then choose your language and then just click on continue once again. And here as you can see we got three options right here that is always show drop top, auto hide and desktop only. Go ahead and select desktop only. And here, just choose your preferred media player. I'm gonna go for Spotify. And here, make sure you type in your location so that they can show the weather accordingly. And just click on continue. And over here, you'll have to choose a home button to show up on the dock. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the Windows icon. You can even go for the Apple icon if you like. I don't, there isn't a Windows 11 icon, so I'm gonna go for the Windows 10 one. I'm gonna go ahead and click on small over here for the size of the drop down bar. And over here, just click on continue. And over here, just select color match. And over here, just click on maybe later. And we're all set. You can just click on finish setup. And over here, as you can see, we got our dock right here, which looks pretty cool. Make sure you right click on your desktop and then hover over view. And just uncheck the box that says show desktop icons to make your desktop look clean. If it has a lot of desktop icons cluttered up. Over here, you can just click on skip tutorial. And as you can see, we have our dock working right here. We got this options right here. You can even select lock, sleep, restart, or shut down your computer. Now go back to the PDF once again and just click on the link that says cursors. And over here, make sure you have created an account. As you can see, I haven't signed into my account. So let me just sign into my account real quick. And then once you've signed in, just go ahead and click on the download button and open up File Explorer once again. And the downloads folder. And over here, we have our zip file right here. Just right click on it. Click on show more options and just click on extract all. And over here just click on extract. If you have WinRAR installed on your computer or WinZip, you'll have the option to extract it directly. But on my computer, it's not working. And over here just go ahead and open up the folder that says cursors and preview. And then open up the folder that says VS cursors. And over here as you can see we have the installer right here. Just right click on it. Click on show more options. And just click on install. Now open up your start menu. Type in mouse pointer and over here just click on change the mouse pointer display or speed. And then once this window is opened up, open up the pointers tab, click on the drop down menu and choose VS Cursor 12.0 early. And just click on apply. And over here just click on yes. 
and then just click on OK. And here as you can see our cursor has changed successfully and it looks really cool. Once again go back to the PDF and make sure you've closed all these tabs that are opened up on your browser. And then open up the link that says wallpaper. Now this is the wallpaper I chose for my desktop. You can even click on search wallpapers right here and search for any wallpaper you like. I'm gonna go for this 2D Japanese wallpaper which I think looks really good. Just go ahead and click on download wallpaper. And then open up the downloads folder. Right click on the wallpaper you downloaded. And just click on set as desktop background. If I go back to my desktop here as you can see my desktop looks really cool. Once again go back to the PDF for the final time. And click on the link that says Jack score. In this github page right here just click on releases. And just click on Jack score v4. 44902.rm skin and then open up the download folder once again and over here as you can see we have the skin right here just double click on it and over here just click on install and once this window is opened up just select the language over here go ahead and click on continue continue once again and just click on finish installation and then once this window is opened up go ahead and click on widgets scroll down until you find modular clocks just open it up now here just click on the download button right here. And now once it's done installing just go ahead and click on general. And just choose whatever widget you wish for. I'm gonna go for this one because I think it matches the whole theme and aesthetic. Make sure you've clicked on activate screen this toggle option right here. Just toggle it on so that it shows up on your desktop. Let me just place it in the right side. Let me just adjust the widget that we just loaded. And yeah that's perfect. You can go to appearance and change the color to whatever you want. I'm going to set it to white because it, it matches the whole appearance. You can however just go ahead and click on tint color and choose whatever color you want. If I select black and if I click on OK, here as you can see the color has changed to black. Now here you can just right click on it and you can click on align and choose center, horizontally centered, vertically centered and whatever you want. So that you perfectly align it without doing it manually. I'm going to set it to center. And I think that looks fantastic. And yeah guys, that's it on this video. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give this video a like and share with a friend. And if you have any queries, you can put them down in the comment section below. And please hit the subscribe button to support me. Till then, see you later. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.